it has become a very critical issue that needs the country we must come together and address it for the reason why i say this agents will come to players as young as 12 years signing contracts with them promising them heaven and earth and yet those boys haven't reached that stage and what what damage does it cause when you go to this player as a coach he doesn't listen to you she just says to you know the the, the agent told me i'm good what is it that you want to do to me? So that is why it is critical that as a nation, as a country, as all football people, even the agents, we invite them to come in. For when these players are in trouble, we don't hear much from uh, the agents to come and help and solve the problem. It's a problem of us coaches who have to deal with that problem. In the junior national team, we have those programs. Like, for instance, if we're going to go in a camp for plus minus seven, eight days, the first two days we sit down with them, we go through things like making them aware who are they where do they come from and why they are here and the second thing is we sit with them we tell them listen this is what you got to understand you're here to play football and nothing else for you'll find that in a camp players will always try to play others down which is not very good for others psychologically and then finally we always encourage them to sort of work on their passion to play football. One will be very much disappointed definitely if a really agent could go that far where they influence coaches which player uh, to play and not to play. I would be very much disappointed. Yes, I think their work goes as far as recommending the players to be signed. But on the field of play, it should be the coach and his technical committee who decides who and not who to play on the on the day of the match. This agent story, it, it has killed football because those who don't have agents don't have access to the clubs they only go there if the agent is in cahoots with the coach or with someone else